Canada geese are beautiful birds and protected wildlife, yet sometimes the mess they leave behind is unimaginable. WREL Fateville reporter Gilbert Bays spoke with several residents of an apartment complex who believe the birds are making them sick. It's a story you'll see only on WREL. So there are no geese out here right now at the Oak Run apartment complex, but they say the geese have made this pond their home. And I talked with one resident who says the feces are making her sick. Gwendolyn Young says these pictures tell the story. Goose droppings are everywhere, on the sidewalks, on the grassy areas, even in the playground. Young has been counting the birds and their mess ever since she moved in 11 years ago. I counted 60 and I stopped counting. It was so many. It was, they were all across the field out there. Young has been diagnosed with granulomas. It's an inherited disorder that causes the immune system to malfunction. Her doctors believe exposure to bird droppings at the apartment complex may have inflamed her condition. Who is responsible for cleaning up geese feces here? The maintenance people, Oak Run too. They're responsible for that. Well, do they do it? No, they don't. It's bad. I, this whole place over here is bad. Jeanette White has lived here for four years. She's had to buy a hose to connect to her kitchen sink to wash away the mess the birds create in front of her apartment. Because these geese and these ducks, they walk around and they poop and nobody clean up. If we don't clean it up, it don't get cleaned up. The Fayetteville Metropolitan Housing Authority operates the complex. Residents have signed a petition demanding something be done about the birds. It is kind of challenging with the protection that wildlife is afforded and uh, just the fact that, that this is something that, that nature puts into the environment. Fayetteville Mayor Mitch Colvin is aware of the problem. He says when Campbell Terrace was renovated into Oak Run Apartments, the retention ponds were added for stormwater runoff. You now the flip side to that is it does attract uh, more wildlife and so uh, we'll do what we can, work with our housing authority to work with the developer to make sure that there's a, a resolution for the residents. So this is a battle that residents have been fighting for years and they're hoping our story brings enough attention to this so that they can get something done. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News.